Okay, so we're going to do a uh, sample of um, a compartment testing of lower extremity here. So in the uh, lower extremity, there's four separate compartments. Of course, you have your lateral, anterior, and then you have um, posterior, you have a superficial and a deep. Today, we're going to show the uh, lateral as well as the anterior. Um, and I'll talk about all four compartments and how to find them here. So whenever you do compartment testing, you want to um, kind of draw a line one third the way down um, the shin and then imagine a line going all the way around and anywhere about three centimeters above or below that line is where you want to do your testing. So for the anterior compartment, some landmarks defined right around that line, you, um, you palpate the uh, tibia and you go just to the medial aspect of the tibia and then that will be directed perpendicular to the skin and we'll show you that one here today. Um, and then for the lateral, you go just anterior to the posterior aspect of the fibula, um, and I'll get the lateral compartment. We won't show you the um, posterior today just for simplicity, but for the uh, deep posterior, you go just posterior to the uh, medial aspect of the tibia, and then for the uh, superficial posterior, you go midline on the calf, so for that one, we'd actually lay the patient over on their stomach for them to, uh, to perform that one. So I've already marked him as you can see here and I've cleaned him up with alcohol to uh, keep the area sterile and then I've um, uh, uh, put lidocaine just subcutaneously. You don't want to inject lidocaine too deep or else it can uh, go, get into the compartment, compartments and uh, um, uh, alter the test results. I use the striker here, um, pressure monitoring system. It's probably the most common commercialized uh, compartment testing. Um, system you can use and uh, here I'll show you um, kind of what to do with it so I'll be going again perpendicular to the skin over the lateral and the anterior as you can see here there is a little zeroing uh, mechanism here for um, uh, finding out the pressures and so once I get it lined up I zero to make sure that there's zeros on the screen before I place the uh, um, uh, um, uh, needle into the skin to test the compartment. So here we go. So first we'll do the lateral compartment here. So again, I'm lining it up perpendicular to the skin and this is just anterior to the posterior border of the fibula. I'm zeroed out here and so now I will go ahead and do the insertion where I've done the numbing medicine already. And right here you'll do about 1 to 1 1.5 centimeters. Um, and then at that point, if you hit the fibula, it's not a big deal. You just back off barely there. They might um, have a little bit more pain if you touch the fibula. So if you can just go about one and a half centimeters, that's great. You push just a small amount, less than half a cc of fluid in here. And then you wait for it to uh, even out. And so it'll more than likely shoot up pretty high there initially. Um, and then you wait for it to um, lower down. And he ends up being 10. And it's... 10 or 9 really so it actually dropped down to about 9 for his lateral compartment um, and so we'll record that there I'll often have a little bit of bleeding and I'll often put a uh, good 4x4 four four there and then wrap him with a uh, ace bandage afterwards and then we'll do the same thing here just so you can see again this is for the anterior compartment again I'm just going to the uh, lateral border of the tibia I'm perpendicular here and I'm going to zero the system here I'm gonna go down about two or three centimeters on this anterior there. There we go. And you can check these with motions as well with, uh, for instance, with this one, you can have them do ankle uh, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, and you'll see the pressure change with that if you're in the right area. And right there, I see it um, actually decreasing whenever he does that. And so just relax again here for me. And then we're gonna put the pressure here, put just, like I said, less than a cc, more than probably like a, quarter to a half a cc of fluid in here and then we're just going to wait for it to kind of level out there and you usually find the highest levels in the anterior compartment here his actually settles a little bit high which is about 16 here um, so kind of borderline for a, a pre-exercise test there um, and that's the simple, then we'll do the uh, posterior compartments uh, traditionally. Um, I'll have them exercise on a treadmill until they exert, or ex uh, uh, exert themselves enough to experience their uh, symptoms that they um, have with uh, running. 
or hiking, and then we'll retest them usually um, at one and five minutes after. Um, before exercise, a positive test is 15 or higher. Uh, one minute after exercise is 30, and five minutes after exercise is 20. Um, and so again, the anterior compartment's one, usually the most common area, and again, Chris was kind of borderline there. Um, and that's the end of this demonstration, thanks.